This video is brought to you by Cooper City Realty. We are Cooper City. All right, this one's pretty easy also. It says determine the moment of inertia of the beam's cross-sectional area about the x-axis. So they gave us a 3D figure, and we want to take the cross-section of that, just like cutting a little sliver through that loaf, and it gives you this, right? So this is 4, 1, 10, 1, 10, and 1. So basically, in order to find the moment of inertia of all of it, we're going to take it in sections. So this is section 1, section 2, and section 3. Basically, what you need to remember for these kinds of problems is I plus A D squared. I can change based on the shape, whether it's a triangle, rectangle, circle, that kind of thing. But in this case, we're dealing with all rectangles, and it's important to know that that would be B H to the third over 12 would be the I for rectangles. A is just the area of the specific section we're working in, and D is the distance between the centroid of our specific section and whatever we're rotating it about. So as we do the problem, it'll become more clear. So let's go ahead and figure out section one here. Remember, this is the x-axis, right? So that's all we really care about. And our base is here and our height is here because we're rotating about the x. If we were to rotate about the y-axis, it'd be different, it'd be flipped. This would be the base and this would be the height. But since we're dealing with the x-axis, this is our base, this is our height for these equations here. So if we look at section one, the base is going to be one and the height is going to be four. So four to the third divided by 12 plus the area one times four is four. And of course our D, the centroid is half the height of a rectangle, right? If we're looking this way, this is our height. So if this is four, then the centroid would just be two right here. And the distance between the centroid of our section and we're rotating about, which would be the x-axis, is 2. So that's our d, and it's going to be squared. So if you compile all these numbers together, you're going to get 2, 1.3 repeating. And don't forget your units. In this case, it's in inches to the fourth. Moment of inertia is whatever they give you. Let's say millimeters, meters, inches. It's always going to be to the fourth. So just remember, if they give you inches, it's going to be inches to the fourth. There you go. Let's clean this up, and let's work on section 2. All right, so now that we have section one done, let's go ahead and look at section two. And that's gonna be the base is 10 times the height is one to the third divided by 12 plus the area, 10 times one is 10. And then of course, our, our D is the distance between the centroid and whatever we're rotating about. So in this case, the centroid is half the height and the height is one. So if it's half the height and it's right here on the x-axis, that's just 0.5. So our d for this case is just going to be 0.5. Don't forget to square it. And if you compile all this together, that's going to give you 3.3 repeating inches to the fourth. So let's write this up there and go ahead and work on section 3. So for section 3, right here, our base is going to be 1. Our height is going to be 10. That's to the third divided by 12, base height divided by 12, plus 10 times one for our area is gonna be 10. And our D is gonna be the distance between the centroid, which is half the height here, and whatever we're rotating about, which is the x-axis. So if this is 10, half of this is five. So our D in this case is gonna be five squared. And if you compile all this together, it's gonna give you 333.3 repeating. So in order to find the final answer, you have to add up one, two, and three all together. Because we did the moment of inertia by sections, and now we just add them all up together. And our final answer, if we add all of them up together, the moment of inertia, the cross-sectional area of this beam about the x-axis, adding one, adding two, adding three together, is gonna to be 358. And don't forget your units, it's going to be inches to the fourth. There you go, there's the answer. Take care.